Hey there, it's Lisa Garvin. It's Women and Gender Day at COP21, where we'll lift up the particularities of how women are impacted by climate change and to celebrate the contributions that women are giving to this negotiation process and to climate justice around the world. Women who are sitting at the negotiating table, women who are leading NGOs, women activists on the front lines with a variety of other organizations. And today we wanted to introduce you to some of the women that we've had the opportunity to meet and to work with during our time at COP21. The impact of climate change is real in my country, Uganda. The impact is in the line of flooding. When the homes flood, farms are submerged, men cannot provide for their families, which is their sole duty in the African context. This therefore means children are starved and malnourished. If the climate and justice agreement does not take care of the needs of the basic African man and woman, it means families will fall sick, will starve, will not have animals or food on the table. The impact of climate change is real in Africa, in Uganda. We therefore appeal for an agreement that takes care of needs of homesteads. Climate. Hi, it's Jen. So Lisa and I attended a side event, Women Leading Solutions on the front line of climate change and it was a moving experience for both of us to listen to powerful stories of worldwide women leaders upholding the rights of women the rights of indigenous peoples uh, towards realizing a just um, equitable and healthy world we're both inspired of the deep passion and commitment of the indigenous women leaders from indonesia Ecuador, Africa, and Canada, who have shared their work on the ground and presented strong visions and creative approaches for the global movement of women working for climate justice. That the full and equal participation of women in all levels of decision-making and implementation must be fulfilled. That rights-based approaches and gender-responsive mechanisms must be included in the agreement to be done here at Paris.